guys, Terrell here, and welcome to episode 6 of Blu-ray Tuesday. Back from Vegas, and I wanted to share with you guys my cool little coin. I survived the Saw escape room, now that I'm here, obviously. But yeah, we, we survived. We uh, went through all these challenges, all these different like twists and turns, and I felt like I was actually a part of the movie, so I was, I was like in Saw 10 or something. I don't know, you were like thrown into these rooms, there's like 6 rooms. Uh, the first couple were like, kind of like, they threw us for a loop, like bitch, I thought we were playing. And kind of find out it was like a twist that the first two rooms were just like a fake out sorry spoiler are we spoiling shit here we're spoiling stuff here i say check it out the saw skip room is amazing um if you pass or we have a little, little discount thing we have a little groupon you know say a little coin you get a coin so this is this little saw coin you get it has like a little it's shaped like a saw you get billy the puppet it's like kind of heavy. It's a nice little, I don't know, I like it. Anyways, it's all escape room. I highly recommend it. How, how do I talk about without spoiling it? The rooms are super cool. The rooms are just like right out of the movies. Like you go in, we are timed. It was like one of the hardest escape rooms I think that I've ever done. Uh, this is my third one. The first one I've done was like a, like a prison escape. That was, that was kind of interesting. And then uh, like a wizard thing, which is fun. But this time it was like, I was right in the movies and it, it was everything. Like uh, for the sets alone, I'd highly recommend checking this out. The puzzles are kind of difficult. Um, you do have like a guide there to kind of help you through it. It's, it was definitely an experience. Also being in Vegas is fun, minus the heat. But uh, we also did Drag Race Live, which is amazing. If you follow me, you've probably seen I Met the Queens. I hated that meet and greet, by the way. That extra money was like nothing. Like you get to like, you walk up to them, they said a little hi, and you gotta flip around and there's like a rope between you and like we have to wear our masks. And then they snap a picture and say, okay, bye, get off the stage. And I'm like, okay, I spent another, what, a hundred bucks for a meet and greet to just, you know, wear a mask and like, you know, I guess just a wave at the bitches. It was nice to meet them. They did say happy birthday, I will say. Uh, Vanji, uh, Asia, they're very receptive. Uh, Cameron Michaels on the other side, Whatever, if you look at the picture, you'll see they were just like kind of dry. But yeah, the other side with Asia, Banshee, they were living. That was great people. Asia was a great host, by the way, if you follow Drag Race. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of Asia over here, but like, no, she was a great host. I had a really good time. And Derek Barry, she did pretty good as well. That was never one of my favorites. Yeah, so that was, that was Vegas. Uh, what else happened last week? Oh, remember the story from a couple weeks ago? Uh, about the guy that saw us in the movie theater that like knows where I work and stuff like that. I know, really strange. But that creeped me the fuck out. So every time I'm on a break, I have like a mental note in my head like, okay, this guy's probably watching me. Is he around? I don't know. It's really strange. But anyways, the other day, uh, like, like yesterday, it was like two days ago, I was on my break by the bagel shop where he knew where I was and I knew not to sit there. I sat there and I was like on the phone, whatever, minding my business, you know, enjoying my break from work. And I hear this guy's voice and like asking me, oh, you see Candyman? I look up and I thought I saw Candyman. I didn't say his name five times. I dare you. I didn't say his name five times, but I see him. He was just standing there. His hair was slicked back. It was, it was, it was an experience, let me tell you. Anyways, it was this man. And I was like on the phone, so I pretend like I didn't hear him at first. But I don't want to be rude. Again, never last time, I don't want to be rude. So he was there. He was like, oh, you see Candyman? He repeated himself, you know, five times. Anyways, so I was like, oh, yeah, 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 I saw it. He was like, oh, oh, I got to check that out. I said, yeah, go check it out. It's pretty good. And I walked my ass up into Target, girl. I had nothing to do with Target, but I had to, I had to get away. Sorry, it was, I felt so bad. I said next time if I seen him, I wanted to get his name, but I didn't get his name this time, but I was too scared. <laughs> I looked up and saw that hair. <laughs> Anyways, um, maybe next time we'll get a picture. <laughs> it's Ralphie and I'll post it. All right, so that's that. Um, that's what happened last week. Uh, yeah, thanks you guys for watching these videos, but let's just get into the Blu-rays. For this week, I wanted to start off with the horror pack. August's horror pack just dropped when I got back from Vegas. I had like all these packages. And uh, yeah, the first package I opened was horror pack. And yeah, we'll talk about those. So my the first one for this week, uh, this month, I'm sorry, this month's horror pack is The Devil Inside. The Devil Inside is very controversial, it seems. A lot, not a lot of people love this ending. And I get it. The ending wasn't very, you know, fitting or it wasn't complete. Or it was just like, a, oh, it just stopped. A lot of fan footage is like that, but this one in particular just was so abrupt. It was just like, that, that's it. I remember seeing this in theaters like a few years back whenever this dropped and like, man, when this ended, there was like an uproar of people. Like all the people in the back row, they were just like, I want my money back. They were just unhappy. They were just yelling like, oh, this sucks. You know, and a lot of other things that I probably shouldn't repeat. But yeah, this is a movie that, you know, not a lot of people probably cared for, but I love fan footage. I was creeped out in a lot of it and um, supernatural stuff, like I've said before, like kind of fucks me up and it's pretty scary. Inspired by uh, true events, by the way. And the next up, um, keeping up with the found footage thing, Cloverfield. Cloverfield is another found footage film that I actually 
went into blind. Like I didn't know when it, when it hit theaters, I was like, I'm not interested in this. But then when I actually seen it, I was like, oh shit, this is fun. And it made a couple sequels. There's like uh, 10 Cloverfield Lane that I actually really, really liked. And then they had that, that Netflix one-off uh, feature, which is okay. Yeah, there's three of these. This one is probably my favorite. It's tied with the 10 Cloverfield Lane. But yeah, this Cloverfield. Um, this is also released on 4K now. I already own this one. I own this too, by the way. You know, sometimes I get doubles in this. And I saw this at the dollar store. Let me tell you, last week, I should have posted or sent a picture on that. Last week, the dollar store had their little, uh, you know, the items of the week, the Dollar Tree. They have an item of the week. It was Blu-rays. And I, I've seen this in there. I see you, Horror Pack. Get my $25 and give me Dollar Tree Blu-rays. All right, so next up, guys, is Come True. I remember watching this, and I don't remember watching this. I uh, This came out, I guess, maybe it was made in 2019, made it hit festivals 2020. This Blu-ray was not released in the States, but it is in Canada. I'm sure you can find it online. Yeah, this is a pretty freaky, like, dream-like film. Um, I guess the ending is very controversial. If you've seen it, let me know what you thought of it. I'm going to rewatch it, so I'm going to get back to you on this one. It's stylish and creepy, based on the little quote on this film here. The only bonus features on this one here is deleted scenes and a making of featurette. At least it's bonus features, uh, which is kind of cool. Raven Banner put this out. Check out Raven Banner's website. They have some cool releases and like slip covers and stuff. So every time there's a horror pack, there's always one Blu-ray that you can't get anywhere else. It's their horror pack exclusive. And uh, I already own this on Blu-ray, so I don't know how exclusive it is, but uh, Don't Fuck in the Woods is the horror pack exclusive for this week. And it's number 62. So there's been 62 horror pack boxes since it's uh, startup. So yeah, uh, horror pack limited edition Blu-rays, Don't Fuck in the Woods. And we all know that. We've seen Friday the 13th and various other horror films where people just be fucking and sucking and all this kind of stuff in the woods and they just get chopped up girls this movie i have never seen i do want to see it's a great drinking movie i'll have a couple shots and i think this will be really like a fun ride there should be a lot of riding in this movie hence the title but yeah so don't fuck in the woods so that this is the horror pack exclusive if you've seen this one let me know what you thought of this one is it good is it not good shout out to ryan stacy so that was the horror pack for this month uh for august uh, looking forward to September. And again, this is a Horror Pack exclusive. Go to horrorpack.com. It's like $25 a month and you get a pack of Blu-rays. I think it's like $20 a month. You can get the DVD pack, uh, but who wants that? You can just go to your local dollar store and get all those movies there. And so we're going to go from this week's releases to the movies I picked up this week. Starting with uh, Mortal Kombat. Uh, Mortal Kombat Legends. This is a, a, only a Best Buy exclusive steelbook. And it's in 4K, which is awesome. So I don't know if you guys have watched the Mortal Kombat Legends Scorpion's Revenge. That movie was great. It's like had everything you wanted from a Mortal Kombat film. Live action ones have yet to, you know, achieve with all the blood, the gore, the fatalities, brutalities, all that good stuff. They tried it with the live action one, which I did like, but um, you didn't actually get a tournament. But these, you get a tournament, a whole lot of storyline, and a lot of cool capitations and all that cool stuff. I haven't seen this one yet, but I'm excited to check it out. I love Scorpion's Revenge. This one is Battle of the Realms, and I'm excited to check this one out. Best Buy. They sold out, though, really quick, so you gotta, like, pre-order those things early. Or there's a trick that I've learned if you did miss out on the pre-orders, uh, like, the night before, just, like, keep refreshing Best Buy, and you can just get it for store pickup. That's what I've been doing lately with these steelbooks that I missed out on, so that's a little trick. The next one that we have for this week that I picked up is Fear the Walking Dead dead the sixth season and i was shocked because there's six seasons of this i will say the walking dead is on its 11th season now it's its final season i kind of fell off this was one of my favorite shows back in the day i fell off like around season nine i gotta do some catching up but yeah season six of fear the walking dead i will say uh the, the this spinoff started off like uh this is i don't know where this is going like we don't need this but this actually got really really good for me in my opinion like season two is where it like popped off and i was like in it so I saw only the first three seasons. I have some catching up to do with this too, but I did start to like this one a bit more than the regular one. That got way too repetitive, and this had some more surprises for me, so I'm kind of excited. This is kind of a spoiler for me, this cover, because uh, Mr. Morgan here looks like he's being turned, and I didn't know that, but this cover kind of spoils that, or does it? I don't know, he has red eyes. I don't know if he's immune to something, maybe. Maybe there's a twist, because this is known for twists. I guess we'll see. But yeah, Fear the Walking Dead season six hit Blu-ray this week. That's the collection. Also, I got it because I'm a completist. So if I started off getting these movies or if there's or shows and I have like the first couple seasons, I kind of like to get them all so I have like a whole set. I don't know, I'm weird. All right, and the last release this week that I picked up uh, is In the Heights. I know this is like, a lot of people love this movie. I'm not big on musicals, but this was a lot of fun for me. I know there's a lot, a lot of things that people said about this movie, about there wasn't a lot of Afro-Latinos in this film. I guess a lot of Afro-Latinos live in this community where this film takes place. And uh, they didn't showcase that. But that aside, um, the movie was super fun. It has a story, it has a meaning. 
uh, follow your dreams type of stuff. You know, if you want to be put in a good mood, you want to like live a little bit, live light and um, you know, be happy and smile and feel good about yourself. Yeah, follow your dreams and all that good stuff and all good things happen. In the Heights is here for you. Like have some good tunes, good dancing. You won't see me do any of that. I won't be um doing that burst into song. But yeah, this is pretty fun. I had a good time watching this. I watched it on HBO Max. I did not see this in the theater. So I'm excited to like check this out, check out the bonus features. Um, there's quite a bit of bonus features on here. It's even a documentary. Web of the music is in the air. Yeah, there's a lot of music in this movie, a lot of dancing, but I had a lot of fun with it. Um, check this one out. Yeah, that's it for this week. Looking forward to next week where the Zack Snyder cut of the Justice League drops. That'll be kind of fun to talk about. So what did you guys pick up this week? Um, be kind of cool to talk about it. Uh, yeah. Until next week, bye.